Hi guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about something very close to my heart. And those are my tattoos. I think that tattoos are such a wonderful way to express yourself. Every tattoo has a story and I really love stories. The first tattoo that I ever got was of my mom's birth year in her handwriting. My mom is a very special person to me, not only because she's my mom, but she's also my best friend. She's so understanding and just so kind and she really tries her best to be a good person. And I feel like that's what really makes you a good person. Like when you try your hardest to just move in kindness all the time and that's just what my mom is. She's just that person and she's just love personified. So it just makes sense that my first tattoo would be about my mom. The second tattoo that I got is the word love fool which means an individual who loves somebody, but that somebody doesn't love them back. This is actually a matching tattoo that I got with the love of my life, Dale. There are no words to describe how I feel about Dale because words just don't do enough. Like when I think of Dale, I think of wonderful things. She's just everything good in this world and I'm just so lucky to have found her. The day Dale and I decided to get this tattoo was the same day we got the tattoo because it was very spontaneous. We were just in class, bored out of our minds, and she was just like, what if we get matching tattoos after? We came up with Love Fool, which is actually also the title of a playlist I made for my four best friends, Rook, Gerard, and Dale. I guess we just kind of made Love Fool something of our own like it's not what its definition is to us it's like more of like a i don't know it's just a word that belongs to us i don't know where i'd be without the three of them and i'm just very happy that i got a tattoo to just commemorate that friendship um because this friendship really means the world to me the third tattoo that i got is of cupid the god of love this is the first and only tattoo that i ever got that doesn't really have any special meaning to it i just like angels and i also like love and cupid was like the in-between of that i spent hours looking for the perfect cupid like i was scrolling through the internet for an ungodly amount of time when i found this guy i was just like i am obsessed and i want him on my body right now Even if this tattoo doesn't really have a deep meaning behind it, I still really deeply love this tattoo. The fourth tattoo that I got is of my two dogs, Rambo and Benji. I think when I was about nine or 10, I would find the best looking stick in our garden and pretend I was Hermione Granger and just run around the house casting like whatever spell I could remember from Harry Potter and my dog Rambo would be there running around with me like he was my familiar. I don't know what it was, but he just understood me. He just did, he just knew me. I'm so grateful for that connection that I had with him. It was just, it felt so nice to have a friend. So when he died, I knew that I would never be the same. He was very special to me and I'm thankful that I grew up with him. I'm really grateful for the chance to have known him I just wish I could thank him again for the friendship that he left me. Benji, on the other hand, is like an annoying little brother. The kind that goes into your room and just like annoys you and then walks out and doesn't even close the door. That is Benji. I love that dog. <laughs> I love him with all my heart. He's like so silly and just the goofiest dog ever and he's so moody at times he's like a human being sometimes i've had a hard time finding a connection with a dog um since rambo died then she really got to me the best part about this tattoo is that dale drew them so it makes it even more special to me the next tattoo that i got is the angel number 222 which means you are at the right place at the right time. The day I realized this number would hold a lot of significance to me was the day I tagged along with a group of people who were going against the mayor for the 174 reclamation project. The morning we were gonna meet up to go to the mayor's office, I was sitting outside of the church where we were gonna meet. I was thinking, oh my God, this is risky. Like, what if I piss off the wrong people? What if they're gonna like remember me and you know, it's, it's scary. I sat there looking out into the highway and this pedicab 
stops in front of the church and the plate number was 0222. And ever since then, I was just like, this number belongs to me. This number is my guardian angel. It's my angel number. Maybe it is a little bit nonsensical to put the weight of fate into these three numbers, but I just want to believe in something. My most recent tattoo is a lyric from the song called Home With You by FKA Twigs. This lyric is so stunning. I just think there's something so empowering about that line. I have gone through things that have destroyed me, that have devastated me. I felt like I was fighting battles larger than life. Nobody will ever know just how much it took for you to get through what you did. And because of that, there is no hero quite like you. And those are all of my tattoos. But before we end this video, there are a couple of very cute tattoo questions that I found on the internet that I thought I would answer. I was thinking of getting a butterfly right between the valley of my breasts so that when I wear a bra, the wings kind of like rest on my boobs. And then if like my boobs shake, it looks like the butterfly is flying. This is a really difficult question because I love all of my tattoos, but I think my favorite right now would have to be um, the Home With You lyric. I think the tattoo that I like the least is the one of my dogs, just because I feel like it's really just too big. I could have gotten it like a little bit smaller and I don't really like the placement as well. At least it was this tattoo that got like a little bit misplaced and wasn't the right size. My most meaningful tattoo would have to be the one of my mom. It's my first tattoo and it's also dedicated to my mom. So I feel like that is for sure the most meaningful. And that concludes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed listening to me talk about myself for a good amount of time. Before I end this video, I do want to remind you guys of one thing. If you have the opportunity to be kind, be kind. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.